Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. We are here. We are live in the goalie be a pro. We have a decent save percentage. Not bad. 924. We have only played four games, though, which is not a great sample size, but we don't talk about that part. We just talk about the GAA and the save percentage. Trying to recall, last video, I feel like we started out strong, and then the Seattle Kraken... I was Swiss cheese that game, for sure. I feel like I just said swish cheese like you know a basketball swish that kind not a swiss anyway i also noticed i've already rendered the be a pro 3 and i forgot to put comments in so i'm a little upset about that because i do like to get you guys involved have your comments up on the screen so sorry about that i will try to include them in this one and while editing i actually edit my videos a little bit more intensely now so i will probably hear myself say this but knowing my luck I'll probably skip over this part and not hear myself say that, but I'll try to get comments in this one. So let's try to blast through the season here. Again, we will be playing approximately anywhere from, I'll say, 25 to 28 games, because that's how do you split up the season into three, give or take a couple here and there. And for our first contest, we have the Broad Street Bullies, who are 12, 11, and 4. We're 15, 10, and 3, and we're 8th in the league. They are 20th, so this is a pretty big game. Hopefully, we come out with a dub. The coach obviously wants us to win three of our next five. Don't know where we stand with that right now or when that challenge started. It says 11, 30, 22. Can I actually check the calendar and see then? So that'd be November 30th, and we are currently... December 9th, but I don't know which games I played. So yeah, that doesn't really help actually. Since then, we've been three and one. Knowing my luck, I was in for only that game, but maybe not. Anyway, 72 overall, great number. It's also our jersey number, I think. We did get it, right? I see a seven on there. Last year, I believe we got pushed to 71, but if I recall correctly, we got our number this year. Let's simulate the game against the Broad Street Bullies and see if it's worth jumping into or if it is an absolute shooting gallery one way or the other. That's a good start. All right, definitely worth jumping into. It is a 1-1 hockey game. We're out shooting them, but it's not too dramatic. It's a pretty big gap, but I've seen worse. I saw a comment about rocking all gold equipment and I'm kind of on board for it, so I will be changing that. I think I meant to do that before we started, and here we are. So I'll do it afterwards, if I remember. There we go. I feel like the game audio was broken at first, but it seems to be back online now. No idea what was going on there. It was silent. Kind of scary, actually. Why are you going to give the puck up there, Patches? What's up? There's probably already a comment about it, but Be a Pro 3 actually has not come out yet, so I haven't brought up the whole patch ready situation in a video as of when I'm recording this. Ooh, that was close. But I'm fairly confident that last year, if you didn't start in the NHL, it would give you the default roster or whatever that is. So I don't know if maybe they didn't fix that or if for some reason Patch Ready is just on the Golden Knights in this game. I recently did a roster update because they released their second one. Oh no, that's a big hit in front. And we have a bunch of players battling it out for that one. Luckily, the Golden Knights came out on top. Radulov has it. Gets it poked off him, but makes a tremendous pass. Chandler went to go and rip one. But it would be a no-go. Either Kadahar is injured, or they traded him away. Either or. Both equally likely. Konechny gets it over to Farabee. That will be... I am not passing that out. Can someone please remove that man from my personal bubble? Win the draw? No, he's not going to do that. Sandheim goes over. Okay, this is where I got to be very cautious because they love doing those cross crease passes and not very good at saving them. Going to be honest right now. I know that's not saying much because I'm not great at saving anything, but yeah, those especially super not good at that. Oh my word. White Cloud just laid the body. That was outrageous. In the middle. Yes, Eichel. Let's go. The physicality still appears to be a prominent item in the Golden Knights game. And I am very on board. I am happy that we are taking that route. I'll go back for that. Pass that over to you. Roy will skate to the net, basically. All right, that was a little bit risky, but he made it work, so I will give him credit. Donato goes over to Carlson. Ooh, okay. Wrist line and just going to out-muscle him. Glove save. That was very, very close to going in. But through the screen, Timothy Jimothy was able to make the oven mitt stop. 
And now the Golden Knights are headed the other way, but that's broken up real quick. Not gonna hug the post. Because ah! Maybe I should hug the post. What are you doing? Farah B gets a pass in the middle. Blocker to side by TJ. Kachurie goes for a shot. That will be kicked aside. Not gonna hug the post. Kachurie gets another go. Oh my word, guys. Can we do something here? Can only bail us out so much. Yes, okay. That was a good defensive play. You clogged up the front of the net there. They would have had a very, very scary chance, but we stopped them. Ooh, yes? Nope. Yes? No. No, 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 yes! I don't like when they walk out like that. It is the scariest thing in the world. But I managed to make a save. I don't know how the Seattle Kraken exposed me so hard last game. You know what? Everybody has nights off. That was certainly one of TJ's. Where is this puck? Nope, not today. Butterfly. We got a face-off to the left here. And we are at the two-minute warning of the third period. Still a 1-1 hockey game. Not in the final minute. There we go. No, I'm not past that out, but can we please do something about the guy that is literally on top of me? Defense, just asking one favor here. You know what, though? You've been playing good. I won't say anything. Never mind. Just do you. It appears as though this game will be headed to extra minutes. And I hope that someone scores in those extra minutes because I don't want another shootout. Just not a big fan of those. I mean, I like watching them, but being the goalie participating in one, big pass from me. That will be saved on the close side there. Oh no, yes, he didn't pick it up properly. And now Eichel's headed the other way. Takes it wide. Yes, crashes the net, patch ready, let's go! What a goal, and that will end this contest. That's a big dub, we needed that. And they had like 25 shots, that's a good performance. Both goalies played very good. It's so green, it's beautiful. What am I gonna buy, movie tickets again? Or what was it, a concert, something like that? How about checking out some American history since we're in Philly? Want to check out the Liberty Bell? I sure do. With that W, we now advance to 16-10-3 and, and sixth in the league. Austin Bruins will be our next opponent and we take it now. Way to go, Robin. We're in the cage against Chicago, who is 8-15-4. I'm hoping that we don't have to jump into this one and it's just a straight up blowout. But I feel like that will not be the case. Okay, 2-1. This would be a good game to jump into. I'm just going to sim it. Oh, okay. Fire me up, boys. I think I'm kind of done with the whole James bit. It was fun telling him to shush and all, but I just, <laughs> you know, it's time to call it quits. But on that note, they were just saying I'm not even in contention for the Calder. I'm playing pretty good. What is this virtual game? We need to talk about how you've been playing. And then it shows me stats at 242 and a 928 with four wins. What do you want to talk about? How sick I am or? Great, another challenge. Allow a max of four goals over the next two games. Yippee. Arizona 18, 11, and 1. Let's find out how we sim against them. Okay, 1-1 one, one after 1. 3-2 after 2. Hmm. Yeah, we'll jump in. We've got two objectives. Win three of the next five. That was loud. We also need to allow a max of four goals. So, you know, if we're going to play a game of averages here then that means if I don't get scored on in this third period, and that's a Hail Mary because there's a very good chance that I get scored on, then we can allow the same amount of goals next game. Yeah, it's doable. Still got 20 seconds left on this power play. If we could get one more, secure the insurance marker, that would be elite. Eichel's the only one battling. Someone go help this man. Nice pass. That is huge. Marchessault is, so, is going to get... I thought he was about to get rocked. But somehow, he managed to avoid it. We had a very good scoring chance there as well. Could not get it done, though. Forsberg is in, and he's going to get tag-teamed. Pass in the middle. That wasn't really the middle. Sprong just misses the net. I feel like I had the angle, though. So even if he did hit the net, I think there's a good chance I would have saved that. Point shot is tipped, but still saved by TJ. Hit in front of the Golden Knights bench. And now the Coyotes were trying to muster up an attack. But a tremendous poke check will send it right back into their zone. So the Coyotes have Philip Forsberg. They have Jack Campbell in net. They also have David Perron. The movements in Be A Pro never fail to amaze me. Kraus just walks out and Petrangelo. No, sorry. My bad. Petrangelo used to wear 27. I'm pretty confident anyway. And I guess Theodore had that locked down already. So yeah, he went with number seven. But anyways, great play regardless, no matter who you are. 
No. No! Yes! He already went behind the net and he tried to tuck it still. What a clown. They are definitely outplaying us in the physicality department. So we should probably step up, make a couple big hits here, and let them know who's boss. Because otherwise, this could get ugly real quick. I'm going to play that out. And it worked. What a save by Jack Campbell. Slides across, puts it right in the mitt. And that will keep his team within one. Great save, Campbell's Chicken Noodle Soup. Ah, big save. Let's go. We are headed to the PK, however. So that's unfortunate. But I ain't scared. The way we're playing, are you kidding me? No chance they score. They're going to score now, definitely. <laughs> all right, all right. They have the man advantage. Can we win the draw and kill some of the time immediately? Yes, we sure can. Good clear. They are headed back, and we have quite the forecheck going there. Let's go, Wa. Roy? I think it's Roy. Oh, my word. <laughs> that was close. And now Chris has it. Nice try. Get wrecked. I gave him the one side, so he tried to take it. And before he could capitalize, I... T oh, no. Did we just take another one? No, I think it went into the bench. Whew. Is that killed already? No, 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 no! Yes! Get out of my face, Clayton! I just had to go back and look at this one. The pass is coming in. Clayton Keller... Actually, that's the second time now I have destroyed this poor man. I guess for the Calder race, yeah, I can't really be considered because the lack of games. Haven't played a whole lot. But I'm playing pretty well. And as I say that, I'm gonna get scored on. Schmaltz went for one, and that will be kicked aside. The defense playing with it right there in the slot. That is probably not the best idea. But I'm not a defenseman, I'm just a goalie over here, so, you know. That was the riskiest play of my life, holy crap. Oh my word, that's a save! Oh my word, another one! What is going on? I don't know, I, I don't have an explanation. I just genuinely don't know how this is happening right now. We got 43 seconds left on the old clock -aroo, And it is a one goal lead for the Golden Knights, so that could be erased. In an instant, but we could also get the empty netter. March or so, they're backing up. I don't know if an NHL player is going to miss that, that bad. But, he just did. Sprong is back on the attack of Fenisenkov. No! No! Did he put this five hole? I didn't really see. Yep, he sure did. Okay, fair dues. That's a good goal. And that goes back to me wanting to drop to Butterfly sooner. I don't know if I really should have there. It's hard to say. That was just a good goal. Gotta give credit where it's due yet again. TJ appears to really like overtimes. Also, I am now noticing if they score here, I have to get a shutout next game to meet coach's expectations. That's just simply not gonna happen. Put that in the mitt. Pass that out. Oh, I shouldn't have passed that out. Yes, I should have. Petrangelo's a tank and he managed to get past that. Patches, the OT hero last time. Can he do it again? It's a great play. It's a very good play. Theodore goes in behind the boards to Maximus, who passes it back in front. What a play. Great save by the goalie. Here come the Coyotes. Nice step up. And a line change while he's at it. Eichel, could go. Decides he's not about to for some reason. I don't know why he decided that, but he sure did. The man who tied it up is back in over the line. He stops, goes to feed it in the middle, but Eichel will break that up. Great defensive play, Jack. What a save again. Great playing back there by Jack Campbell. Theodore almost gave them a breakaway, but he was able to stop, and then he just misses the net going low blocker. Afenisenkov again. They're just... Oh, I didn't even see a bench there. I'm Oh, he's... What's going on here? Okay, we need to do a league investigation. He was literally standing in the bench. That doesn't seem natural to me. I had the right positioning, actually. It just went off the inside of the glove. That is unfortunate. Everything's still green, so did our job, I suppose. Practicing without a stick again, are we, Petrangelo? Some of us are going to see the Grand Canyon, obviously. This is our first time you're going up against Arizona. Well, no, it's not, actually. Why is this happening? Did we not? We just played them. What are you talking about, sir? This man is losing his mind. Let's go ahead and simulate to our next contest, which will be against the St. Louis Blues, Sim, and it will be a, a dub? What were we at? I didn't even look at our record beforehand. Actually, it might have been an L. How will we play against the Mighty Ducks of Anaheim? Not a great first period for goaltenders. Second period, still not great. Third? Ooh, okay. 
We did all right. Their goalie, on the other hand, not so much. Yeah, yeah, I let in more than four goals, but you know what? I still got us. Oh, wait. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is the win three. Okay, yeah. We accomplished that one. The four goals in the next two games, not so lucky. They really do have to add a setting to turn down the amount of meetings because it is outrageous. I don't know how I did a full be a pro career simulation last year. That must have taken forever. I would prefer if you kept your promises, but playing well is a given. Imagine an NHL player did that to their coach. <laughs> that would actually be so funny, but not at the same time. We have a challenge to win this game. And if I heard correctly, we're on a five game winning streak. Is that right? So we beat the Pens, we beat Colorado. Yeah. All right. Time to take a big old L at the hands of the LA Kings. Boom. Yeah, that's a tremendous start. Kaliev and Schultz gonna bury a couple goals. Ooh, very not good. Ugh. Yeah, that is a poor showing. So I'm gonna have to politely ask you to stop making me make promises. We're halfway through the season and you haven't been playing good enough. You know what? Trade me. Trade me right now. I've had another promise. <laughs> no! Max of six goals over the next three games. I could let six goals in in one game. How's that for a promise? Jersey's struggling. They're 31st in the league, so we are going to take a big L again. 1-1 one, one, and... Mm-hmm. At least that was an empty netter. Does that count? Would that count against me? So let's say it does count against me. That was four goals, and there's six. There's seven. Okay, well, sorry, coach. Hate to let you down again, but... It is what it is. Our stats were pretty decent for a second there, and now we're just getting destroyed. Like, what happened? Honestly, what happened? They put Robin Leonard in. Yeah, shocker. Yo, do you guys think Biosteel is sponsoring this game or what? I will stop it there. The Calgary Flames will be our opponent to start next video. We're down to a 900 save percentage because the last few showings, we've been getting rinsed. I don't know why that just started happening all of a sudden but it's in the game. Currently, we sit third in the Pacific with 66 points, and we're only two points back on the Canucks. So the top three race is very close here in the Pacific. In the entire league, we are set at... Wait, where are we? Hello? Oh, wow, we're all the way down to 12th. We went from a six-game... Was it five? Five-game winning streak to a collapse. <laughs> That's amazing. It does still look like we're going to be playoff-bound, though. March or so, 46 points. Stone had 45, or has 45, I should say. Eichel and Patches, both with 44. Leonard picked it up. I believe he was struggling last time, but he's got a record of 24, 17, and 4. Four shutouts and a 9-16. Timothy... Fell <laughs> off of a cliff. Barzell is leading the league with a nice amount of points in 61 games. He's having a great year. Why do they do this? That color that is the rest of the glove is not... Oh, man. All right, I just got to do the mini wheats here. They actually have a preset for it. So if we go here to the far left, should be all gold. Nice. That is a thing of beauty. Hopefully this equipment will get us back on track and we can start playing like a half-decent goalie yet again. But on that note, folks, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, a like would be greatly appreciated. And I will be seeing you soon.